Brawl in another game that is very similar to Smash, but it wasn't Smash. He made Pit. Um, and then that was the best character at one point because Armada was winning, then he played He did main hit. Fox in Melee too. Yeah, he made Fox in Melee. And for some reason in, I guess because of the patches, he wasn't ready. He made Sheik. Sheik was looking to maybe be the best after Diddy Kong was patched. Then he, he went did to Diddy Kong. He pre-patch Diddy Kong. Yeah, he yeah. used pre-patch Diddy Kong. And he just kind of never jumped over to the Bayo side, but he was thinking about doing it. Yeah. And I don't know if he would have been the best Bayo. I still think Sweet is the best. Yeah, and, um, look, and, and Zero now has one of the best legacies in in all of smash bros because of it so you cannot you cannot rag on somebody for using that strategy it uh, is your own fault is light at this tournament light no he is not okay all right somebody said light so winning is free um yes i can read the chat and i was going to say that uh no i play at 7 30 but these pools are extremely hard as you guys might be noticing now we have like rank number two in, in or one in indiana fighting against tyroy and winner makes yeah. it out loser has to continue fighting it's crazy yeah it's it's this is the first tournament I've ever been to where I was seated to lose my round one. I've been <laughs> I've been ranked in Michigan twice, and I'm still seated to lose my very very first set against Collins, who's good. Yeah, he's yeah, good. yeah. Yes. And he's ranked number I don't know if he used to be number two in Ohio, so, so yeah, right that's now, so that, that's my first that's my first round, and then I win one losers game, and then I lose to Kamui. I'm oh, seated God. to go. One and two versus oh. Colonies and Kamui. I actually just realized this is Blade versus Pandarian, and Pandarian was looking really, really good against, I believe it was, was it Larry? Yeah. It was Larry, yeah, yeah. It was uh, and Larry, and he lost, so that means Blade is now in losers too, and he's, this is, like, just really rough. And I bet you the winner of this doesn't even make it out the pool. Oh, this is losers then, you're right. Yeah. That's rough right now for Blade, but Blade, very fantastic. She can always been improving, and that was an amazing read, but he just barely missed it, and it's going to yeah. be a lot of damage. Oh, my gosh. That's a, that's a tough punish to take for for making the correct choice. Red the air dodge just mistimed the, the vanish a little bit and took so much for it. Double jab. Double jab again. I like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just, <stuffing laughs> <out>. just punching <laughs> each other. Yeah, I like how he's just stuffing out Meta Knight because he knows Meta Knight's most likely going to run in. What's Meta Knight going to do? Jump in air if it's terrible horizontal aerial movement? No, he's most likely going to run on the ground. With his incredible yeah. dash attack. Yeah, it runs literally <laughs> three times faster than he can move in the air. <laughs> yeah. Pull opposite of Jigglypuff. That, that, by the way, that dash attack makes no sense. He kicks you with like his tippy toe. He wears like a size 14 shoe. Makes no sense, but this might be a KO. That's, yeah, it's clearly a steel toe boot. It's steel on the outside. Much definitely a steel toe. Oh my gosh, he's barely able to pop out of it. Looking really rough again for Blade. He's get that KO. That was interesting, but it wow. worked. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not sure if that vanish... I'm pretty sure that was a defensive vanish just to get back to the stage, and it ended up offensively getting him the kill. <laughs> Alright, Sheik's really good at racking up this low percent damage. Just once he gets him to high percent, he's got to try and find a kill before Meta Knight. And oh, that might be. He decides to play patient, but he still gets the read. I feel like he could have just done dash yeah. attack up B, but yeah. he read the air dodge and did put one more up air in there to add an extra 3% before he did the up B. Damn. So I wonder if we're going to see Blade switch to Bayonetta. Maybe. <laughs> I know they're going back. I just saw Blade ask if he wants to go back, and he did not switch, so he's going to stick it out with Sheik. Uh, which I approve of. I've played Blade many times. I think his Sheik is fantastic. Yeah, very good Sheik. Always improving, but looking really rough. Oh my gosh, that hit. Oh, is this it? That, yeah, that's just a... Oh! She did the reverse. Yeah, I thought it, he was going to carry him off and kill him with the Nair. It looked like he was trying to, but... Oh, oh wait, hold up, Sheik though. Oh, some beautiful combos coming out from Blade. Okay. <laughs> yeah, both these guys just use the platform to... Oh my gosh. Oh no. He has to be more careful with these bouncing fishes. He keeps going for like these bouncing fishes that kind of seem out of nowhere. It looked like he thought the fair would confirm to get the bouncing fish. So he preempted or that bouncing fish and that cost him his stock. Yeah, Pandarian took the first stock below 60% both of these games. This tournament is extremely hard. <laughs> like what? It's, it's incredible how not yeah, stacked yeah. this tournament is. I was going to say top heavy, but that's not what it is. The whole entire thing He's, there's no easy, there's no bad players here. Yes. Like, Blade is somebody I would, could see easily getting top 17 at an event like this, minimum. And yeah. he, he might be out right now with a two stock. Oh, waiting for that air dodge. Playing a patient, bouncing fish. Fair. <laughs> oh, does not get the fair to come out in time. And that's it. Oh, red oh. air dodge again, but this time up smash? Yeah. Wow, he landed right on him, too. <laughs> yeah, look like he weaved to make sure that he got up smash. All right, he's going to need some crazy combos. He needs that grab or possibly F tilt beginning or fair. Yeah, here it is. Off one side of stage, 23%. Let's see what else he can do. Ooh, Ooh yeah, that was not bad. 38 damage. Okay, there goes the grab again. I like that. Oh, that was rough. Missing that up air, putting it, 
in a bad position, but 52%. He needs to keep him off the stage. He needs to keep him off the ground. Oh no, he lost all stage control, but bring it right back. Blaze definitely put himself in a position to be able to win this game. Yeah, he just needs to not overextend with these up airs, putting himself in a position where Meta Knight is up under him. Yeah, I think that's the main thing, is to not overextend right now. Oh, just barely able to oh, stuff that wow. out. He has to watch out for those dash attacks, and he does. Oh, Ooh. is that it? Jump. It's so, hard. it's so scary to come back Ooh. down. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow, that would have been a definite death right there. And up air. Oh my god, the spot dodge just barely got him out of the way of the down tilt. I love how aggressive Blade is playing, even though he's at death percent by many attacks coming out from Meta Knight. And I like that attempt not to finish the back air. Ooh, he saw that coming through. Oh my Blade with this amazing patience. Yeah, this up is. Air. Ooh, look, he's barely oh, missing he over and over. It. He teched the. Well, that was a clutch tech. Oh my goodness. And that's going to be yeah. it. Man, Blade, uh, Blade played that stock really, really well. Yes. It's sad that he lost. He got that. He lost his first stock so early in such a sad way because he really turned it up after that. 